well, it's a, this is a display piece I did up when I had my shop to show people. We call it True Fire. As a, as a kid or a young adult, I went to the San Diego Zoo and brought a little tiny camera with me to record my trip. And when I got to the zoo, I saw stuff out in the areas and found myself, when I got back home, explaining what that little tiny black dot in the picture was. There's a 600 millimeter People say love at first sight. It was love at first sight. I was told to come up to Baxter State Park. The first day I was here, I saw a moose and photographed it, and just that was it. This one here, this bear, I was in a blind for three weeks. You can't sleep and you can't read a book because you might miss something. I was told that there was a, a moose hanging out with ten heifers in his pasture. So I drove up there, and sure enough, he was hanging out with ten of them. This was his favorite. One of their favorite foods in the summer is the, uh, the pond lilies. It looks like his tongue, but it's not. It's a pond lily. Uh, the locals called him split ear. You can see here uh, he has a easily recognizable his split ear. I think I can almost get into the head of moose sometime and kind of know what they're thinking so I can determine their next step. Uh, this was a moose um, we photographed in the park. Baxter State Park. Um, I got him jumping a stream, just like a horse would. And then two years after this shot was taken, we got this one. This is the same moose. What I don't know why, I think it's an optical illusion, but as you walk around, it actually appears as though he's moving his head. So, um, so if you start like here, and he feels like he's really just looking at you, and then you move to the other side of the room, you get this optical illusion that he's following you. It's a bit spooky. <laughs> Sometimes you may see a, a, you know, any, any one of these and, and really learn something about the animal that you didn't know before, just from the photograph. This was taken uh, in uh, June when they have this is velvet coating. This is actually a living tissue. It has a lot of uh, a lot of vascular blood um, going through it, and it helps protect and, and uh, grow the antlers. And antlers grow one inch per day. It's the fastest growing animal tissue on the man. I have all different skill levels that come to the workshops, from um, you know little tiny point and shoots. A few people have taken it without a camera just to experience the, the trip. Usually people will learn quite a bit. I can give pointers as to what to look for, um, how to anticipate movement, that sort of thing. This young cow was coming over this way, so I waited till the right spot to get composure in my part to get the, get the reflection in the, the other three in the picture. So I have the passion for the wildlife and that, that pushes you, that keeps you going.